I really get upset sometimes because our children are just floundering around, and they don't seem to have anybody who's really, you know, care for them enough. Now, we've got these organizations that take in a few of the children. So I've tried my best to get the young people to know that they are part of this community, and they need to contribute instead of hands out, give me. It doesn't work like that. You've got to do that. So we need, I think we need to train our young folk. It's all testing, you know. No fun things at all in school now. So that's too bad. Integration did not help the black person that much. Black children, they really did. And we are just now getting to the place where white teachers understand that black children won't eat them up. They were afraid of black children at first. And I would tell them all the time, a child is a child. Actually, Franklin had, and Weston County had, less trouble with integration than in at other small communities. Uh, I was been, well, two years I spent out of Brentwood teaching. But um, when we came to Franklin Special School District, and then when they um, uh, integrated, and the system said, if you had a child K through two, you went to this school. Three and four, you went to that school. Five, six, seven, and eight, you went to that school. And if you didn't want your children to mix, then you put them some other place. And we didn't have any trouble with that at all. And I'm not, I'm not aware of how much trouble they had in the county because I was so involved with the Franklin Special, you know. Mm -hmm. And then after I left the Johnson School, Mr. Brown called me one Sunday afternoon. I remember this, and this was right after integration. And he said, I'll see you Monday morning. And I said, why you won't see me Monday morning? He was the principal of the junior high. He said, because you're my teacher. I said, okay, whatever. And so we just went on, and I didn't have any problems. The only thing at the End of the first week, we had this supervisor who came around, and she said, we worried about you. And I said, excuse me, why are you worrying about me? Because you never taught white children. I said, Mrs. Sanders, a child is a child is a child to me. I teach children. I don't teach races. So she didn't say that anymore to me, you know. No, sir. But anyway... I've been, you know, I enjoyed the teaching, I really did. So um, I just, um, I've been real proud of Franklin. And I went from Johnson School over to um, junior high. And then from junior high as assistant principal, then I went to middle school as principal. And stayed there all those years. <laughs> and I just would not let Anybody define me about where I was living and my race. Because, and I'd go downtown sometimes, and if they didn't want to, you know, wait on me, I'd turn around and come out. My money was just as green as anybody else, you know. So I think that if we, uh, we keep this feeling of friendship, of helping folks, and one thing we are now getting more and more concerned is about old folk, you know, which I'm glad of that. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm old, but, you know, we have some communities that just push old folk back. Mm -hmm. One time we were on retreat, this is when I was principal, and we got the superintendent who said, I think we need to change Johnson School and it can become an office and you can store things I said over my dead body. <laughs> so he said, well, I guess that settled that. I said, yeah, because if you do that, you'll have a ride of black people and I'm going to lead it too. So he said, well, I guess that settles that, doesn't it? I said, it sure does. <laughs> because we just, I mean, that's the pride and joy that I'm a know pride and joy of our community, Johnson School. His name is actually Charles C. Johnson School, you know, they showing it to Johnson. 
And actually, that school's named after a relative of mine, Dr. Johnson, and um, because he was really a person who cared for oh, anybody, and it didn't make any difference. And I used to have it said with the children, I don't care whether you're red, white, black, or purple. And I had to say, the wagon, when the wagon comes, you move. To, but the doctor was like that. He didn't care who came in. If you were sick, then he'd take care of it. And he wasn't getting any money for it either. Uh, because uh, sometimes when they came to see him, they said, Doc, I don't have the money. He said, it's all right. But at Christmas, they'd bring something like chickens and opossum. Chickens, all right. Opossums and rabbits, they can have them. But uh, that's how they paid him, you know. Mm -hmm. And he just took them. But we went in, and um, I'm one of the last teachers that went in Johnson School. And when I went there, I was teaching the um, sixth grade class. And then from that, I moved on up teaching seventh and eighth grade. I'm a science major. Mm -hmm. So um, we did that, and Mr. Watkins was our principal, and he was really a nice man, really nice principal, and he saw, spoken, but if you did something wrong, <laughs> that voice changed. Mm -hmm. And we had faculty meeting one time, he was, somebody had done something, I promise you it wasn't me, and uh, he, <laughs> he was on him, and I'm sitting there, I didn't do that, boss. <laughs> It wasn't me, boss, that did that. <laughs> but he, you know, he really cared for the children. And that's what I liked about him. And he knew families, and he visited families. And he wasn't one of those principals that stayed in his office all the time either. He checked classrooms to see whatever thing was going on and if everything was right. Even to the point that he checked first thing in the morning to see if he had enough heat. Uh, if it was cool enough, and he came to my room one day, and he stuck his head in, and he said, I'm not going to ask you if it's warm enough in here for you. If it's 100 degrees in here, you'd still say you were cold. <laughs> so I'm just leaving. <laughs> and they, they were so cute one day. One of the teachers came, and uh, she said, Miss Mills, I have to tell you something. I said, what? This darling little white boy walks up to me, and he said, these are the nicest slaves I've ever seen. <laughs> and he, we've been talking about slavery all the time. He didn't know, you know, we said black people slaves. So he just thought we were slaves too. These are the nicest slaves. We, and so the teacher said, I hope you're not offended. I said, no, that's why we're here. We are teaching, you know. And I just thought it was so funny. Though.